if we take a look at this, so now when we log into our app, um, so we can log in as my user, um, rather than loading geometry directly to the device, we can select the remote rendering section. So if we select that, we then choose which region that we want to render in. So we select it local to where we are in the globe. So click UK South. And depending on the volume of data, which will define which server quality you need. So now when you go to select a model, you'll see we have here a huge factory layout. We can select remote rendering from the experiences. So if we hit remote rendering, we'll now load in a huge factory, factory line data set. So you'll see we've got three full um, factory lines here. So I'm just taking a glance. And what we're in at the moment is something that we call tabletop mode. So you'll see this isn't full scale, this is shrunken down. Um, obviously this would be meters and meters of data. Um, but yeah, this is a shrunken down form called um, tabletop mode. And yeah, if we take a glance, you'll see some of the data similarly to what we rendered on site. But this is all being rendered um, in the cloud and using your internet connection, so your network speed to stream it down to the device. Um, and again, it's all about making decisions and presenting your data a way that's usable um, so you can see it at full scale. So if we come back, what we've done now is we've set it to full scale mode so you can see, um, albeit in our office, there um, you've now got a full scale production line that you can walk up and down and use. And there's a notion of waypoints in here. So there are set locations that you can define to enable you to move around huge data sets. So we can take a walk down here. Um, as you can see, I'm glancing around, but you can see all the all the geometry being rendered in the distance. And as I say, Azure Remote Rendering really comes into its own when it's um, huge volumes of data. So if we walk over to it, we can see um, obviously some boxes full of components here. Let's take a, look, a little walk further around. We've got some press machines. Um, and, and while all this is being rendered in the cloud, we can do what we did previously in factory layout. We can render geometry still using the device. So we can bring in more components um, and start to apply a factory layout again. Um, so if I bring the menu back, you'll see we go to add. Um, we can select some data. We've got some options there from the server. We choose the bench that we've previously seen. Um, and that's now rendering that on device. So it's bringing it locally. You've got the, you know, the scenery has been rendered in the cloud, but you've got local geometry being rendered too. And you can do all the same features that we showed previously in factory layout.